DeVoe takes us to one school that isn't bound by the walls of a traditional classroom. Anybody know the name of this trail? The Nature Preschool at Imes Nature Center brings learning outside. That teaching model is one reason why they're getting a lot of interest for the fall semester. Do you think it's a vertebrate or an invertebrate? Parents have been calling nonstop, wanting to see when we're going to start programming. Uh, when can they get their kid outside? When can they start getting the, this child that needs interaction um, out of the house? And so we. I, I really do think that we have uh, um, we have a big bigger demand now that COVID's here. What are puff balls? Puff balls are a different kind of mushroom that when you step on them, they puff. When the school launched in 2018, it was only part time, <laughs> but they're in the process of getting a full time license with the state next month. We're kind of setting sort of groundwork for other nature centers to pop up in other places, and it's definitely something through this uh, COVID pandemic as well. A lot of a lot of schools are turning to the outdoor environment to have, um, you know, a little bit more safer um, outdoor spaces where you can socially distance as well as still learn. All right, you guys want to go on a big adventure? At first glance, tuition can be a deterrent for many parents. We do have financial assistance. But so. education director Jenny McQuiggan says sponsorships have allowed them to offer scholarships to students. They hope to expand that option even more in the coming years. We're noticing every time we advertise anywhere that we have a group of people calling in going, can I do this? Can I do this? And we're like, yes. So we're, we have a few spots left, but we're filling up. And they push together and then they start to wrinkle. For Live at 5 at 4, I'm Emily DeVoe. Cool concept there with a lot of outdoor learning. We'll come